who are putting marginalized voices at the front and center of this rally today. And we stand strong when we stand united. The patriarchal and hierarchical systems that we all struggle beneath can only continue to exist when they keep us divided. And our division is essential to women's repression, and that is why I'm excited to see all of us diverse, intersectional women and allies standing here as a collective today. Can we give ourselves a round of applause, please? And sex worker demands as workers are not so different from the demands of women workers anywhere. Um, and, I, and I think it's, it's important to see ourselves as, as linked to a global struggle um, that is for, for women's life, uh, liberation all around the world. We want to be able to feed our families. We want to be able to care for those around us. And we want to be able to pay for the roof above our head. We want that security. And for sex workers, our demand is, is that we do not want to fear police arrest while we are doing so. I think it is really a great pleasure and a privilege and an honour to stand here on International Women's Day 2019 and be able to, um, to be able to mark the big victory that we've got here in Queensland um, last year with the, the um, legalisation of abortion. It's very, very exciting, yeah. Trans rights and human rights! International Women's Day began as International Working Women's Day and we've put this back in the epicentre of this rally because we're highlighting the work, both paid and unpaid, both seen and unseen, that women engage in every day. That work uh, that keeps the wheels turning in our society and every facet of our lives and it's a formidable and powerful force.